how many times do I have to come on here and explain to you people that I know what I'm talking about when it comes to Arsenal Football Club? How many times do I have to come on here and explain to one about certain things that you often see? Fuck man. 2 0, Arsenal pick up a massive three points in the second game of the season at Villa Park. And you could tell I'm in a great mood right now. Vamos! And so, what do you think about that first half, though, even though it was a tricky start? Yeah, I mean, it was. Yes, people, without further ado, if you like any sort of Arsenal content, whether that be player reviews, player analysis, player breakdowns, Arsenal team news, Arsenal analysis, anything Arsenal related, all on this channel. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and join the family down below. But forget the intro for a second. Arsenal pick up a massive win, a hard fought win in one of the toughest away fixtures of the season, but a massive three points and, and a character in building three points. But Firstly, I'd be amiss not to touch on David Raya, Leandro Trossard. Let's touch on David Raya first before I get to Leandro Trossard on my point about Trossard because I've been saying it on this channel about him, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save it for a little bit later. First of all, David Raya. Outstanding again. Outstanding again. Not only in distribution and, and confidence and composure and dictating the pace of the game out of the back, but what a double save. What a save. First one, one that hits off the post, he tips it onto the bar, and then the diving header by Ollie Watkins, he saves. What a save by David Raya. And I said on a stream with KP, good friend of the channel, I said, the unsung hero of this season will be David Raya. The way we play out of the back is going to leave us vulnerable to chances. Today, we were very vulnerable to chances. Ollie Watkins missed two sitters, honestly. Both chances Ollie Watkins should have scored, and it'd be 2 2 on a different day. Find margins of the game. However, it was fine margins in the last two games, and I didn't hear any Villa fans or any fans from any other where give, take, a, give um, take away credit from Villa. So I'm not taking away credit from anything the boys did today. Absolutely outstanding performance. David Raya, world-class save. World-class save. David Raya, hold my hands up. But secondly, Leandro Trossard. Off the bench again. And how many times do we have to talk on it on this channel? How many times do we have to say it? How many times? Leandro Trossard, when he's playing, does the goods for you, Mikel Arteta. Continue to play him, continue to back him. And I'm not, I don't want to come on here slandering Martinelli because I love Martinelli. I have Martin. I had the first Martinelli jersey from the time he came to the club. I love Martinelli. But at the same time, I love Arsenal Football Club and I deal with realness and I deal with fairness and opportunity. Trossard has been sitting on the bench for a year and a half, taking his chances. Time after time after time after time. And we rewarded Martinelli consistently. We backed Martinelli. We gave him the faith. But what more does Trussard need to show you guys to prove that he's a starter? Not only in this team, but probably one of the best finishers around. First touch of the game, my man, come and slap it, bottom bins, man. Slap it, man. Slap it, man. I don't want to talk him about sit down, Villa. I tell him all week, 2-0 Arsenal. I predicted this. I predicted a clean sheet and 2-0 Arsenal. But my man of the match, I didn't even mention him yet, Thomas Partey. Now, a lot of people are going to say, how is Thomas Partey man of the match? What game were you watching? He, yes, no, Thomas Partey, when he was able to pick up balls off his centre-backs through the lines and Odegaard, playing through the lines was brilliant. Brilliant. And I thought he won back the ball well. He was physically very gifted. He was getting around the pitch. He was work, working hard. And for somebody that even I criticise, he looks a bit leggy at times. Even last game looked a bit leggy. Full 90 today was absolutely outstanding, Thomas Partey. He gave everything from minute one. I credit him, whether that be technically, whether that be passing out of the back, or whether that be overall just a great performance from Thomas Partey. Absolutely outstanding. And took his goal really well. Saka laid him off bottom bins. But if you want me to break down the goals, I can break down the goals really quickly. Build up play. Saka lays, about, lays the ball back across the um, box. And it falls to Leandro Trossard, who with a sweeping finish, first touch of the game, gets his goal. And then a lovely, another run by Leandro Trossard. Gabriel with a brilliant ball lofted over the top. Trossard plays it across, finds Saka, who lays it back to, um, to Partey. Partey finishes it, bottom bins. And there's the points sealed in the bag. That is 10 straight away wins without conceding a goal. For, well, or without going behind first. Yeah, without going behind first. 10 straight away victories. And you, and you wonder why I back my team to keep a clean sheet against Villa? 
this is what about the boys mentality and the growth within this site i'm seeing it and david raya is on the screen right now all credit to david raya you can either give it to him or you can give it to party because raya say was just as good as a goal for me it was just as good as a goal and thomas party i thought his overall play was was good but trussard was the difference in unlocking this game everything he did was outstanding everything leandro trussard did was outstanding martin odegaard as well was very very good um some i thought some of his touches was good thought final ball from odegaard final pass final shot was lacking a little bit but creative creative wise martin odegaard didn't sh didn't hurt shy away from it i thought to be honest he played through saka with a back heel saka should have took it first time saka should have scored but again saka another assist or potentially another two assists in a game where, to be honest, they were three-man marking him, they were tripling up on Saka, he still manages to get two, either two assists or one assist. I can't, I don't know if they're going to credit him with the first, with the Trussard goal. So we'll wait and see about that. But definitely an assist on the Partey goal. Again, it looks like Saka is marked out of the game. They're fouling him all the game. They're kicking him all the game. Triple teaming Saka. He still manages an assist. So credit to Bukayo Saka. Credit to Martin Odegaard. Another great performance all around from the team. Saliba again. Oh, we could talk about Saliba. I thought his defending, composure on the ball. A great performance all around. It was a great team performance. Great, great team performance. And you could, you could hear it in my voice. You could see it in my face. And you could feel it in the energy of this fan cam. What a performance from the boys. I'm absolutely proud of this team. And I'm proud of the manager. All around, great team performance. Great tactical performance. Great understanding of the game. I thought Yuri Timber was outstanding. I said the goals that we suffered in both of the games came because, one, he gave them too much joy down our left-hand side. And I thought when Yuri Timber came in, he was inverting really, really well, finding little pockets of space next to Thomas Partey, helping him in the build-up. But I thought defensively, he worked his socks off, ran everywhere to um, Yuri and Timber. Ran everywhere. Absolutely incredible performance from every single person. Every man to a T. Um, every man to a T. Great performance. But I'll end, I'll end the final cam like this. You guys in the comment section, let me know what you think. There's no way, possibly, Leandro Trossard has to sit down behind Martinelli again. I'm sorry. I love Martinelli, but there's no way possible he can sit down behind um, Martinelli. But you guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. How are you feeling after this massive win? Because I'm absolutely elated. But like I said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. If you're new here, I have all sorts of Arsenal content, fan review, fan interviews, player analysis, player reviews, player comparisons, anything Arsenal, transfer news, all here on this channel. So if you like it and you want to join the family, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and join the family. Thank you guys for watching. Come on, you gunners. Come on, come on.